they can survive a massive earthquake but lose to wheat? Five why five billion dollars and he's living in Nightvale? Generic control in the deck gives me here back with some more Night Vale. Today we're doing episode 11, which is Wheat and Wheat Byproducts, which is a very interesting title for a chapter of Night Vale. You want to check out my reaction to episode 10, which was Feral Dogs. I'll leave it right up there. Also, link down below in the description. Also, in a place on my channel with all my other Night Vale reactions. Going to chronological order. I want to thank you all so much for all the positive comments you've left on previous episodes and liking the videos and sharing them and all that. I really, really do appreciate it. Like I said, I'm planning on doing at least episode 25 or 26. Apparently episode 27 is something kind of crazy and 27 is my favorite number so maybe we'll go that far I'm not really sure even though that is kind of stepping into year two of Night Vale But like I said, I do read every single one of your comments at so least them down below and I respond to all like comments So you know I'm actually reading them shout out to the patrons because they get the videos a day early and allow me to have a pay on channel Could not do this if it was not for them They get the videos a day early three dollars a month to get you all my reaction videos a day early Which is like 16 videos a week Which is absolutely insane because I do this all myself and it allows me to give shows like Night Vale a chance and do videos that I know are gonna get copyright claimed i'm not going to make a single penny on but shout out to the patrons i'm completely against paywalls because i'm here to make a small not make a pay but let's go ahead and jump into wheat and wheat byproducts all right today's air quality and we're full screen mauve, mauve. and speckled welcome to night Vale. also i've been putting the timestamp for when the music starts in the episode i'm putting it down here apparently it's not what the person that just that meant you meant to put it in the video but i'm not really sure how you would know when it would be in the video to sync it up with. So I'm not really... Oh, uh, wait. Oh, that would be interesting. Oh, so you you want to have the video. So you don't want to do the basic song. You want to pull up the episode itself the greater and play insurance it. Community announced Got this it. week that major insurance providers insurance is a scam. would no longer cover okay, maybe government not. disseminated illnesses. Disseminated. These ailments were created to control undesirable populations and include AIDS, okay. most cancers, most irritable bowel syndrome, why telekinesis, okay, that's fair. tingling, huh? and any kind of food allergy. <laughs> wow. Doctors advise that the best way to avoid acquiring any of these conditions is, is to, to what? limit questionable public activities. We be, we try not to be in a lower economic class and give regularly to an approved religious organization. Mm. Take that these sounds interesting. and you should live a healthy or at least medically insured life. Ah, well, Night Vale has medical coverage. In other health news, the Night Vale Council for Commerce reminds you to regularly consume wheat and wheat <sighs> Why? Why? Why the wheat and wheat byproducts? By doing so, you are directly supporting the local Night Vale farmer, as well as the local Night Vale commodities conglomerates. Uh, Looking for a snack? Try wheat. Or what do you mean, just straight wheat? Product. Dinner? Oh. Wheat and or its byproduct. Why? Trying to patch a leaky roof? Wheat. We have just the thing try for wheat. you, and we also have its byproducts. <laughs> wheat and wheat byproducts. It's like the whole... Buy Americans... For Americans, go to Yamaha or whatever. It's like Washington. I would like to buy a motorcycle. I would also like to buy a piano, and they're like, "You're not gonna believe this," because <laughs> of Yamaha makes motorcycles and pianos. This New is spooky. Information on the Apache tracker. Who oh, okay, yeah. As that white guy who wears the cartoonishly inaccurate and offensive Indian. Why does he do it though? And who disappeared some weeks ago after investigating the strange occurrences at the night But we have an update office. about him? Well, word is in that he has reappeared. That's good. Except, oh. it now seems he is actually Native American. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Witnesses say his features are still recognizable, but, but during the disappearance he is transformed into that which he always absurdly claimed to be. Wait, his wish came true? Is needed, but the Apache tracker is also now only able to speak Russian. Why? I did not bother to get his statement translated. Yeah, no. Apparently, he has been taking to leaning on the hood of an old Honda Accord That's in what I have. the parking lot of the desert That's also old. bowling alley and arcade fun Actually, 18 complex, years old? Shaking his head slowly and checking his watch. 
Does his complete racial transformation make his previous actions less offensive, listeners? Write us a letter telling us what you think. I don't and know. Put it away in a drawer for ten years. Oh, time capsule, cool. Reading it again, you'll get a little pang of nostalgia for fair. the person you used to be once upon a time. That's fair, yeah. The city council today issued a strong warning About against what? the manufacture and sale of discount bloodstones. What is a bloodstone? They say that these bloodstones of inferior I beg design your pardon. and construction have the potential to cause major accidents in even common day-to-day -day chanting rituals. These accidents have included, in just the past few months, locust swarms, Pus tornadoes. What tornadoes? And the creation and subsequent obliteration of a mirror version of Night Vale. Oh, a Forcing mirror version of Night Vale does make more sense. Watch our identical counterparts perish. Oh. And thus confront the inevitability of our own futures. Oh. That got dark Anyone real quick. Anyone caught selling these bloodstones will be put into the dark box. <laughs> the dark box. Erasure from Get recorded enough forever history. box. The lesser charge of buying or possessing them will be met with mere summary execution. Oh, that's it? Simple, okay. Critics charge that the city council is lying about all of this due to the fact that the council owns the only certified bloodstone factory in town. But the council has vehemently denied this charge. Of course they have. Gibbering, howling, and knocking over microphones. It sounds, sounds very political. Okay. That was loud. That was loud. It's still loud. Oh dear. I apologize, listeners. Why, Cecil? What's we wrong? Nightvale Community Radio are experiencing the following technical problems. The need for air. What? What do you mean that? Movement and gooey stuff inside. Please stand by. What's happening? Are they suffocating? Thank you. Oh, cool. We're These good. problems have been corrected. Somehow, magically. An update on our previous message about wheat and wheat byproducts. <laughs> wheat and wheat byproducts. You should not eat wheat or wheat byproducts. Why not? Say several frantic scientists waving clipboards in our studio. As it turns out, all wheat and wheat byproducts, are for unknown what? reasons, have turned into venomous snakes, which are crawling uh -huh. all over our small city, snakes. causing even more chaos than is normal. <laughs> than normal? These snakes have been described as terrifying, loathsome, and probably from the bowels of hell itself. Wow. Also, green and three feet long. That's not that if bad. If you have any wheat... Or wheat byproducts in your home, you are almost certain. Do I have any wheat in my house? Dead. I don't know if I have any wheat in my house. Sorry actually, that. ate Property like the same taxes are seven going things. Up again, Night Vale. Ah, of course they are. Several citizens are justifiably upset over this latest increase, but municipal services do, after all, cost money. Like what? Schools. Public transportation, parks, and recreation facilities. Dog parks? And, of course, the multi billion dollar Pulsar development facility. Pulsar? Speaking What's Pulsar? Of which, scientists say that they are on the verge of developing the first ever human made neutron star. Usually the aftermath of a supernova. I'm sorry, what? This pulsar would be roughly four miles in diameter. It's pretty big. But with a nearly incomprehensible density that makes it about half the mass of our own sun. Oh, only half? And okay. And think, this rapidly rotating sphere of radioactive matter will be right here under the sands of Night Vale. Under the sands? It's underground. energy to power the Earth for billions of years. I mean, we have figured out how to do the nuclear city of fusion Vale plans to and use create the power to light the high school football stadium, <laughs> which still uses whale oil lamps. John Peter, how does that even you know, work? The farmer is particularly upset. I'm not upset. only about the pulsar development, but also about the higher taxes. That's As fair. owner of more than 150 acres, John will certainly have to pay a large share. 
And I'm not looking forward to taxes this year. In a desert, he hasn't actually raised a successful crop ever. What do you mean? His oh, he's in the desert. Yeah. Is his half a million dollar annual subsidy for imaginary corn, um, which has been one of Nightvale's greatest exports. Imaginary People corn come from all over, even desert bluffs. Even those. Oh, well. To buy his imaginary corn. I like to butter up a piece of bread and then rub the imaginary corn along. I don't eat corn. And then sprinkle Fun it fact for you. with a little bit of salt and cayenne. Boy. Is that a delicious and low carcinogen summer <laughs> Low treat? carcinogen? But even our town heroes like John Peters, you know, the farmer, uh -huh, have yeah. to pay their fair share. No citizen is above paying taxes. Un unless well, you understand the tax code. Except Marcus Vanston. Why? But that's understandable Why? because he? he's so wealthy. Oh. When your worth is much as Marcus Vanston, How much is he worth? you have proved your value to society through hard work and determination, and are no longer required to show anyone any further proof that you care about anything or anybody else. Because wow. you obviously do. Look at really? all your money. According to some, Marcus is worth over five billion. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, no, that's good. And that that's five billion reasons. Marcus is our town's greatest citizen. Five? Why five billion dollars? And he's Further living in Nightvale on wheat and wheat byproducts. That's the a little good fishy. The news is that they are no longer poisonous serpents. That's lovely. The bad news I didn't is know the that word, they have but... transformed into a particularly evil and destructive form of spirit. Oh, please be aware that wheat and wheat byproducts are now malevolent and violent Mal supernatural forces capable of physically moving objects up to 200 pounds and entering oh, no. I'm 150 pounds. up to soul strength four. The frantic scientists who are now hopping up and down just outside my Why are they excited? Booth, indicating various charts and figures recommend creating a simple lean-to out of animal bones and mud I don't know about that such now. as you might have made and played in as a child and hiding a lean -to? there until the spiritual forces of wheat and wheat byproducts have passed. That's fair. A reminder to all my Nightfall makes him want to get a flamethrower attachment for my AR. Sorrow Songs sing-along is this Thursday. There will be a potluck lunch, and the softball team will be selling refreshments to fund things that each of them individually want to buy for themselves. Oh, yeah, that's nothing to do for Anyone the softball team. Anyone who has their own sorrow song they'd like to add to our Sorry, communal man. vocal malaise should submit it to City Hall by Tuesday at the latest. I'm good. Remember that low moans and minor key chants do not count. Good. They shouldn't. The composer of the best sorrow song, as indicated Ooh. by our audience participatory weep a meter, <laughs> will be ritualistically drowned in a pool of our own townspeople's tears. Oh, okay. Good luck. Like, you want to do that? Is that what you want? Is that a W? I don't know if that's a W or not. The city council, for national security reasons, have replaced the following report with the sound of a burbling brook, followed by the sound of a running blender. Friends, listeners. Okay. There's a... Why is there just water? That's a burbling blender, I guess. Weird sound for a blender. Why? There we go. There's the blender. That sounds like a blender. Why am I listening to a blender? There's almost 3,000 videos on this channel. This is the first time I've ever heard of Blender what it does. in a YouTube video. City Comptroller Wayneta Barnett received That's a, a $1.5 billion check from the federal government this week. For what? The check was to support rebuilding efforts from this past week's massive earthquake. Oh? Reaching 9.7 on the Richter scale. The epicenter of which was directly below Night Vale. And they're okay? Of course, we experienced absolutely no damage to the town. How? And nobody reported feeling uh, any of that at all from this enormous seismological event. That would... What is the record? Comptroller Barnett says that she suspects that FEMA just saw the meter reading. FEMA? Declared this a disaster area. And, and gave them money. A check. 
That's nice. She doesn't think they have any interest in visiting Night Vale. I don't blame them. So we can probably just spend the money however we want. On a new stadium. Barnett added that those new Mini Cooper sedans are really cute and wanted us all to look at their website. My brother worked on them for we asked eight Carlos years, about I think. about our inability to experience tectonic shifts. Carlos, lovely Carlos, <sighs> had previously recorded other massive tremor activity underneath our Man, seat. Carlos is the best. His response was a few seconds of stammering, followed by a sigh and slow head shake. His eyes were distant, distracted, yet beautiful. I asked him where he got his shirt. It and fit him said, so well. He said he would look at his notes and computer models and see if he could figure out what was going on. I don't know if he listens to me sometimes. Ladies and gentlemen, the I weather? take you no, not the from weather. an unreal disaster to an un- Unreal one. Why is it screaming? It is my sad duty now to announce that the city council is officially putting Night Vale on under what? an emergency state. Why an emergency to state? The ongoing and life-threatening wheat and wheat, wheat. byproducts the situation. Wheat and wheat byproducts are the council states destroying that town. Who has come into contact with wheat and wheat byproducts? They can survive a has massive earthquake, but lose to wheat. Should consider themselves infected. And proceed to the usual quarantine area. Usual? Just behind the playground in Mission Grove Park. Oh, understandable. There to spend the rest of their days in quiet contemplation and weaving. Everyone else should head immediately to the wheat and wheat byproduct shelter that has to been sitting what? unused for decades under the public library. Okay. When asked they have a shelter for a wheat, wheat and, and wheat yeah, buy product that's exactly my question. Already existed, the city council answered simply prophecy. Oh, okay. I mean, May that's good enough answer. Safe. We had to May get the weather. Be well. May you be strong and flexible with ruddy I'm not flexible, and but... legs like tree trunks. And now the weather. The weather. It's going to be muted because copyright, of course. But uh, we play a little game where it's like, try to guess it. Unless you want to join with the timestamp. Let her do what? Never let her do what? Where did who? What? The private part? Wait a minute. The what? Wait, what? What is this about? What is this about? Who is he talking? He was... What? Magic sandals. I... They really... Really pick interesting songs. They do what now? I guess I'll probably put two timestamps in because like in the beginning of the video, I have the timestamp. So you could literally just take the timestamp that I have at the beginning and then also take the timestamp that I put for when the music starts for my video and when it's muted. News from old woman Josie. Oh, okay. Near the car lot. She reports that the angels have gathered. In She's a like the most mentioned character. Living room, oh. blocking her view of the television. That, it's fine. They Let them do what they want. To shoulder, facing each other, radiant with holy light. The bowling alley, they are chanting. Oh, yeah, the, the bowling, bowling alley. alley. She says that a repeat of the West Wing she had really hoped to watch is on, and she the is West quite Wing? annoyed is by her usually considerate, angelic house guests. More on this story, maybe, 
if there ever is more. Maybe. And finally, some good news. And what would that be? All wheat and wheat byproducts have mysteriously vanished That's good. from Night Vale. And the city council promises that they will be gone forever. Well, not, what is the this bunker going to turn into? Scourge, this siege upon us, this salvo of food based warfare is, is finally, finally over. That's good. Nevermore will we be Never more. in our homes by this enemy. Or That's good. It's byproducts. <laughs> it's byproducts. We also such a silly word. We'll never eat bread again, that's and that's fine. a pretty big bummer. Uh, but when's the last time I had this bread? This is the balance that must be made between what we desire and what we fear. I guess between croutons pain count. And pleasure. Salad. Between wheat, dear listeners, and its byproducts. <clears throat> Many of you are huddled now and forever. In the quarantine behind the playground in Mission Grove Park. Yeah. For this community Wait, forever? sacrifice, we thank you. I Is that because they're infected with wheat by and law, wheat byproducts? Still, you should be commended for your brave action. Where's the glow cloud, though? Terminal quarantine might seem scary now. That is. But I understand they have a well-stocked supply of canned lentils and the silver screen edition <laughs> I still never of had Trivial lentils. Pursuit. Oh, okay, Trivial and Pursuit. of course, you have the radio. Ah. I hope you will let my Forced dulcet audience. voice and our humble community station into your ears and hearts until your final wheat-loving breath. <laughs> wheat <laughs> Dear listeners... Stay tuned next for what? For a live broadcast of a man locked in a recording booth, silently staring at the microphone with intense suspicion. I wonder who he could be talking and about. As always, since always, this is a theory. Oh. And for always, good night, Night Vale. Good night. Well, time to go throw away all my bread. Welcome to Night Vale is a production of Commonplace Books. It is written by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner and produced by Joseph Fink. The voice of Night Vale is... Well, give me the proverb. Original music by Disparition. All of it can be downloaded for free at disparition.info. Also, the fact that she does this, this for every single video. This was Cigarette Burns Forever by Adam Green. That sounds about Find right. Find out more at adamgreen.info. Want to have your music featured in the weather section? Want to contribute your talents to the show? Just want to say hi? Email us Hi. at nightvale at I don't, I don't need to email you. I'm pretty sure some of you probably emailed them. At Night vale Radio. Check out commonplacebooks.com for more information on he this is show, holding a knife. Well our books on the unused story ideas of H.P. Lovecraft and what it means to be a grown-up. Today's proverb is today what? Today is the last day of your life up to this point. I mean, you're not wrong, but how dare you say something like that? Okay. That was wheat and wheat byproducts. Um... Night Vale doesn't surprise me. Um, the fact that there's somebody there worth $5 billion is uh, insane. Uh, and also the fact that they had a massive earthquake and are completely fine. I wonder if that's related to the Pulsar thing. I wonder if those are correlated at all. And I wonder if they're trying to destroy Desert Bluffs or something like that. I don't know. I look forward to reading your comments. And thank you so much for sharing this series and all the positive comments and whatnot. Like I said, there is a playlist now if you want to, you know, binge through the entire thing. If you're just now finding this episode through many of the people sharing it on Twitter, Reddit, Tumblr, all that fun stuff. I'm not on Tumblr personally, but I do see it on Twitter and uh read it occasionally and stuff like that and you show it to your friends that also uh watch night vale which i really really do appreciate because i really want to continue watching night vale and i really hope you have a wonderful rest of your day but until next video take care and keep the music